in my today's video i'm going to talk about transport layer security tls how it works first see what does it mean when the transaction between the client and the server is not encrypted then it is using http protocol and port 80 this means when you are entering a password for example then it will be in a clear text it will get transferred in the form of clear text to the server so anyone can intercept the traffic and read the message or get the password that is insecure protocol the next one is the HTTPS protocol which uses port 443. When the client is trying to connect the server, when you enter the password, it will be in the encrypted form. So no one can interrupt this traffic. This is a secure protocol. Now let's see how TLS work, transport layer security. Whenever you want to reach a bank website, for example, abcbank.com. When you enter abcbank.com in the browser, immediately the browser sends a hello packet. This packet contains client hello, client random and cipher suite. What does this cipher suite mean? This cipher suite are the essential elements for establishing a secure connection between the client and the server. It contains four important elements. The key exchange algorithm, authentication algorithm, bulk encryption algorithm and hash algorithm. It looks like the following formats. TLS underscore DH underscore RSA with AES underscore 256 underscore CBC underscore SHA384. What does it mean? The client is asking the server whether are you able to support this algorithm. Let's see what happens in the next step. In the second step, the server verifies the cipher suite. When it is able to support this cipher suite, then server sends a server hello server random and server certificate to the client now client verifies the server certificate extract the public key from the server certificate and creates a master secret encrypt the master secret with the server's public key and send it to server now the server decrypts the master secret with his own private secret key and confirms the client. This master secret key is called the random symmetric key which is also called ephemeral key. This is going to be used to establish a secure session between the client and the server and it is a random key because it is going to be used only for one session between the client and server. TLS goal is to create secure communication channel that remain open for an entire web browsing session. It is our responsibility to make sure to use a secure protocol and establishing a secure connection with the secure website. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe, like and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Bye.